What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nikola Espresso, and welcome to another video here today on the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II, accompanied by yours truly, and of course, some uh, some throwback World at War gameplay. Something that I love this game so much. It is still one of my all-time favorites. I just there's not enough of a population to really play it on a regular basis, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Oh, we got that collat. All right, Do we, we just got a pistol collat. Was that what I was that what I just saw? So like I said, we're gonna be talking about Call of Duty World War II because at this point it's all but okay. I apparently got disconnected from Xbox Live. Okay, so I guess round two, but. World War II has been confirmed and all, like, all but confirmed at this point. It's, it's confirmed but not confirmed at the same time, if that makes any sense. So, what I mean by that is the fact that we have some clear as day evidence, and we're gonna be talking about some more that actually came out today, uh, that points to a World War II, and there's been multiple sources that say that it's going to be World War II, except there's no confirmation just yet on the party of Activision. There's nothing that says, for certain, oh, there's nothing for certain that says that it's going to be it. Like, we don't have an official statement like, hey, next year's Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2017. 2017 is World War II. But it looks very much so like that. Always the best types of kills. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about that. So as for everybody confirming it that, that, uh, that really says it's going to be Call of Duty World War II, it, that goes by the... Uh, the belts of IGN and Eurogamer, and they, they usually have some pretty good credible information whenever they say things like that. That's some pretty, pretty legit stuff to be saying. Host ends the game, why can we not find a good match? But if you guys probably have seen already, we had talked about it on the channel a couple of days ago, but World War II air quote leaked with some steelbook casing and some imagery that went around with it. And that was something that was really interesting to see because that was the first real look at it. And it seems like a lot of this has been legit as brought up by some new artwork that's gone around today. And that's something that is a new angle of the image that we saw, which probably is nothing. It probably leads to just more so of something that was a different, con a different conceptual design, something that has been kind of tested out a little bit. And that was one of the ones like the steelbook where there is some stuff that was being tested out. It wasn't anything that was ever set in stone. We're gonna get kicked out of that match. And so therefore there's a bunch of them. So different angles, same situation, same scenario, but it all really seems to point back to the same place, the same thing and same finite point in detail that World War II is in fact a thing. But the big thing that I wanted to show for you guys, and I'll leave a link down there in the description below with this one here, is actually somebody over on Reddit posted another image, once again, of that initial, uh, that storming the beaches there. That entire thing was a brand new perspective of it, but also something that really is really awkward and weird, but super cool, is that the community, uh, for the longest time, had heard about something called a stronghold. I did a video on it a long while back. Back in the day, it was nothing. Everybody thought that was going to be the next Call of Duty's title, but it was nothing that was really ever something that, taken with credibility, it was debunked as not being, you know, obviously we didn't get that as the next title for Call of Duty. We haven't had a Call of Duty stronghold, but one thing that came out was a, another look at the Steelbook casing, one of the ones that came out earlier, and it was something that really was interesting because it was branded as, and I quote, Stronghold Steelbook Exploration. But like, that's awesome that 2015, we were all wrong on this. And this thing has been, the name, the code name has been in front of us this long. Like that's, that's so cool that we were that, I don't wanna say close, but like close to home that we. Oh, he's behind me too, come on. Come on now, guy. Ooh, this lag is heavy. <laughs> That's one way to do it, right? Oh, oh no. All right, we're going to we're going to like actually red gun now. Cuz we're like we're doing okay. Not in the greatest position in the world. What is this lag? Huh. Yeah, steelbook and everything like that. That's absolutely awesome that we were like that close 
for that long to it. It was something that was out there. So this leak from 27 or 2015 was legit. Oh man, I'm in the middle of everybody. I don't like this. Oh, we're just going off right now. Yeah, moral of the story though is that Call of Duty World War II is is just about confirmed. Like it's it's as confirmed as it can be without an official statement, and I don't think I could be happier. Oh, what a how clutch is that kill? <laughs> Let's edit that part out. Yeah, STG is great. My aim apparently is not though. Hey, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Woo! And we take the victory. We take the W. But I feel like I get a little sidetracked by the gameplay whenever I try to explain this kind of stuff. So, hopefully that is a little bit of an explanation that makes sense where there's two different things today that came out that are absolutely awesome, I think. The first one being, once again, that different alternate image with this. So therefore, to me, that just means that there's, there's no way we're missing this. There's no way Call of Duty World War II is not a thing. We have all this different concept art. None of it has been debunked just yet. We have multiple sources, IGN, Eurogamer, and other industry insiders saying it's World War II. Right now, we're just waiting for a release. It's just, it's super exciting. It's super awesome. Because after three years of advanced movement of, of different thrusters, boosters, exos, it is so nice to be able to go back to what the core fans, the maybe, I don't want to say core demographic because that changes every so often and it's something that I don't know how many people would definitely still be on board with that. I know that as somebody that's been around since World of War, I'm super excited to relive World War II again. It's something that is going to be so much fun. Again, one of the things that just blows my mind is that Stronghold rumor. Like, to see Stronghold be something that was in 20, 2015, talking about one of the next developed titles being that name that is absolutely because like i'd love to just dismiss it as just like random guesses like a, a lucky guess or something like that but that that just does not happen stronghold in 2017 like that is just that's just so awesome i can't get over that like that it was this legitimate You gonna take that shot, you better hit. What the? What was that? <laughs> As for Call of Duty World War II, is it something that I want to see? Absolutely though. That is something that I'm super excited that it's, when the next title was announced to go back to the roots, I don't think that we expected it to go this back to the roots, like back to the roots roots. And I'm super hyped about that. Like, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm excited for a World War II, whether it's alternate World War II, whether it's something that is still a, a very similar storyline to what we've had previously. I'm okay with whatever. Oh. What? I'm so confused as to what's going on right now. Let's, oh, let's get the triple feed. One more, one more. Ah, oh, the split triple. <laughs> yeah. The split triple. But that is honestly like, it's just super cool. I'm super excited. It's all been confirmed at this point. Eurogamer, IGN, insider sources like Shinobi, whoever's leaking this stuff. Ah, oh, we're so close to a reveal. I, I definitely think we're within a couple of weeks now. And it's something that it's not being controlled right now because maybe that's, a, maybe that's what Activision wants. Maybe that's what they want to see happen. They want to see some hype return to the franchise because Infinite Warfare, though I love everybody at Infinity Ward, and I, I enjoy the game for what it is, it's it's not exactly what a lot of people wanted. So maybe that'll be something that we see return back here with this, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> Misty Apper, will I be on YouTube? You very well may be. All in all, I'm, I'm excited to see where the rest of these leaks go. I'm excited to see what happens next with Call of Duty World War II. And I'm very, very excited. And I think one of the coolest things is that Sledgehammers might have been prepping for this because they had an, a World War II gear set 
back in Advanced Warfare, they had the Sten, they had the MP40, they had the... They had a, they had a bunch of stuff that... What? They had a bunch of stuff that really hints towards it, and I think that it's something that is... They're gonna do a great job with it. I think it's gonna be fantastic. I'm super excited to see where it goes. How did that not hit? I shot first! It's literally, it's Star Wars all over again, dude. I'm Han, and I shot first. Oh, the, repeat, the triple kill on the dog, and we, we end up losing the game, but... That's gonna wrap it up, I think, ladies and gentlemen. Just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the most recent involvements and the most recent uh, pieces to come together in World War II, Call of Duty World War II, whatever it may end up being. So I think it's gonna be something very awesome to look forward to, and we're definitely gonna have a reveal on the horizon at some point. I'll leave the links down there in the description below to everything you may need that may possibly end up being something worthwhile. But for the time being, we're gonna leave it at that. I'll see you guys later. Thank you dude so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mazda Nikolai Espresso. Take care and peace.